Hi everybody, so today is a happy day for me. Um, actually, um, I've been telling you about a project that I was planning on starting and one of them is actually here. Um, the package that I was supposed to get from Russia is not here yet and apparently it will not arrive to me anytime soon because of the customs problems. Well, not customs problems, but shipping problems because apparently um, shipping to Israel is a problem for them right now and they did not know that and now my package is stuck in customs until they will release all the no-nos and will be able to start flying and shipping orders again but I don't know when that will happen I guess I'll have to wait and you know just be patient for the you know everything to open up again it is happening really really slowly I have the feeling that it will take some time but you know the, the it's fine anyways um, too bad that I cannot order from abroad because everything that well not everything half of the things that you see here um, which are the stuff that I need to start my new project are here um, half of them I bought here in Israel like these th uh, DMC threads these little uh, threads and the canvas basically in Israel it costs twice as much it's really expensive I can order like DMC thread for half the price from Russia or Ukraine even uh, from America but uh, Israel I don't know why but everything is so expensive here that's why I didn't want to waste so much money because any day now the baby is supposed to come <laughs> that's really scary and that's why I opened my donation account which is something that's supposed to help me with my future uh, cross-stitch uh, development and the development of this channel because I think that this will be interesting to you because I haven't really seen a lot of these designs on the American floss tube and I think that will you will like it basically because I do very much it's really interesting I've never done these charts before now I'm going to explain what this is um, basically it's not a kit it's a chart a designer chart um, I don't know a lot of American designers I do know that a lot of Ukraine and Russian girls do have uh, their own businesses they do their own designs and some of them are so amazing that I've decided to actually try them uh, this is going to be a round uh, piece and I have like five of them in my you know stash now I have digital charts I don't know if the video about my uh, cross stitch saga charts is already out I don't know when this package will arrive so um, <laughs> basically I'm going to release this video I guess before if that one didn't come out or just together because I want them I want you guys to see what I'm going to start so this um, is going to enter my next crafty weekday or week <laughs> anyways um, I've decided to stop on one designer which I fell in love with I actually have two designs from another woman another girl which are so beautiful but the materials for that design are still in Ukraine in that package that I haven't received yet um, anyways this one is beautiful I'm going to insert um, an image about about <laughs> of the piece that I'm going to be stitching right now and as you can see it's really delicate these are little bell flowers I don't know how you call them in English I will be happy to hear uh, if you know how they, these flowers are called basically she the designer has so many charts like these 
she has a lot of kind of abstract circles with a lot of elements. She has uh, a lot of designs with flowers like this one and she has really beautiful designs. I've actually found her by watching a channel of a Russian YouTuber called Marina Prok. She is an amazing girl. She stitches so fast, so much, and um, yeah, <laughs> I wish I could do that. But um, one of the designs I found on her channel, she was stitching it, and the outcome of that piece was so beautiful i absolutely fell in love with that design and i decided to check out the design that she that the designer <laughs> actually had so i did go on a website um called my bobbin they have a whole you know segment of uh designer charts so i found the girl her name is um alisa knias and she has all these beautiful designs so i purchased five of the designs from that collection and decided to start with this one so i hope that i will enjoy it i am sure that this will end up looking amazing because i have seen the other one stitched on the channel and i absolutely loved it it does have a lot of backstitch as a finish because it kind of draws out all the elements that you have in the piece. Um, as you can see on the photo on the side, there's a lot of backstitch. Some of them, some of that is um, with two strands of black, some of that is with one strand of black and that's why you see the round little uh, thread like this i'm going to explain it um, now the thing is about this uh, order that you see before you some of the things i've already had and some of the things like the thread and the fabric i have ordered from a shop here in israel i've never ordered from them before i just ordered because of the fabric because i couldn't found i couldn't find um this fabric in any other store in israel well it, it there's a really big problem with materials for cross stitch with fabrics especially uh we don't have anywhere to buy and if we do have it's very expensive and you don't have a lot of um you know difference uh counts here i can find really easily like 14 count fabrics or 20 25 count fabrics i do have a store where i can buy that but this is much smaller this is 32 count and i found it and i decided to make the whole order from this store uh along with the threads with only the dmc threads now they made a big mistake i did get all the colors except this one which i didn't order um this is number 910 i don't know is it focusing no there it is, uh, 910, and this one was supposed to be 912, which I didn't get. So I am missing one thread, and I have this one instead, and I didn't need it. Now, there was another problem with this order. Uh, some of these colors, I have ordered two um, skeins, and some I've ordered three so i got one of each color they did um bill me for the whole amount that i've ordered but eventually i got only one from each color so that was a mistake i actually contacted the seller she's a really nice woman um they used to have a store like a real store but for some reason they closed it maybe they just didn't sell enough or something and she decided to, they just have an online store right now. So I guess she is, um, you know, a woman with experience, <laughs> I mean, age-wise. Um, and I guess she doesn't use internet as well as she's supposed to as an internet seller. So um, 
she actually made a big mistake. She she took the money for all the threads and actually shipped me only one of each color. Anyway, she's going to refund me for those that I didn't get and I'm going to, I guess, order them from another store or just go look in a store that I have in town where I got these. Um, hope, hoping that they will have these colors because, again, there's a problem with um, shipping and a lot of the stores don't have all their merchandise. But, I don't know, we'll see. I do need to get this one instead of, you know, 910, 912. This one is the one I'm missing. And all these are fine. Only some of them are missing in, you know, amount-wise. So, this is the DMC that I'm going to use. As you saw in the pictures, there's a lot of purples, a lot of greens, some blues. So I am loving, I always love opening new DMC threads. So this is a thread. Now, um, because this design has so much uh, backstitch in it, and some of the backstitch is with two strands of uh, DMC, I've decided to do a little something different. And I've decided to get a thread that is a little thicker for the two-strand DMC um, backstitch. Just because I don't really like the effect of um, the thicker... Um, well, not the thicker uh, backstitch, but the, th the two-strand backstitch. Because sometimes it's open, sometimes it doesn't. Um, I'm not a really big expert in DMC, in DMC, in, in backstitch, so that's kind of annoying to me. So I decided to go for a thicker thread, and I'm going to use this one. It's a little bit thicker. It is a company called Ariadna, I guess. I don't, I don't see very well. Um, and this is... 100% it says here cotton 100% cotton thread and it has 65 meters in one you know uh, how do you call it ball <laughs> in one ball it is a 10 gram little circle so I got two of these I hope that they will be enough I I I think that they will be enough for this project and the next if I'll decide to do another one, but um, I thought that that's, this will be a better idea than using a two-strand DMC because it will not open. It's a full strand and it's thicker. It's thick enough for, you know, using instead. So I hope this will be okay. Now, I got needles. These are... As you can see, uh, John James needles, 28 size. Um, there are five needles in here. I don't even know the price because uh, I didn't ask, but I just added that, that in because I didn't know what size of needles to use on this fabric. So I just decided to ask her hoping that she will know and she put these ones in my order so yeah so i have five needles <laughs> hopefully it will be enough next thing is my organizer this is dupco organizer i used to hate these so much uh they're very flexible so they are comfortable they're really light they are made from this soft material. You can actually park your needles in this. The thing about this one is it comes with a sticker that you're supposed to stick on top of this. And because this is so flexible, the sticker never sticks. It's not holding, so that was a big problem for me, but I didn't really know what to do with it until I got a little smarter. <laughs> and realized this, this material can be written on. So I was just, the time that I did use, I actually threw out five of these. And I feel so stupid for doing that because today these are my favorite organizers, really. Um, I just take a pen and I write the symbols 
or the numbers on this organizer. You can do that with a pen really easily. It doesn't smudge the... I won't recommend using a marker or anything because it can spread, but using a sharp pen or a pencil and just writing on it, it will be perfect. I would uh, recommend if you want to reuse it after, um, to just write numbers and um, like DMC numbers or any thread that you use or just one to three numbers by organizers depends on what organizers you use and if that is the you know numeration on your piece so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do on Saga so that I can write just one, two, three, four, five numbers before I start. And that will be much easier for me to find on the organizer and I won't have to draw in the, you know, little symbols. So that will be very comfortable for me. I will show you how to do that on Saga in a couple of minutes because that's a new option when the program updated. I actually realized that that was an option now. Now, next thing is my hoop. So this is my Nurgi hoop. These are so great. They are so strong that you will not believe it. This is a little tight, but if you want to use it to and stretch your fabric to a drum, this is the one for you. So these are my favorite hoop in the world <laughs> and I know that the size of this will be perfect for this piece because um, the size of the piece that I'm going to make is uh, about 16 on uh, over 16 and a half centimeters so uh, this is 19 and a half uh, so this will be in the middle and you know the little piece of fabric that I will be using as a you know surrounding area or how do you call it uh, it will be around so it will be just the perfect size for uh, the piece that I'm going to make now the fabric this is something that I've never done before actually this is Zweigard Morana and this is a 32 count now <laughs> this is even weave so I've never stitched on this before I was afraid that the fabric will look so bad and I have seen even weaves before that were, you know, like so uneven and girls actually like stitching on them but for some reason that's so annoying. I like when the fabric is smooth. So this one is the one that I chose. This is um, the size of the fabric, I mean, is 48 over 68 centimeters. And what I'm going to do is like break the 48, cut it in half, because 24 centimeters will be more than enough for one piece of these designs. Uh, 25 and a half will be perfect to use. So I will cut it in half and the rest will wait for the next project. And the color is written over here it's kind of a beigey color uh, so this is the fabric that i'm going to use hopefully it will go very well i love the way it looks i hope that you can tell try to focus i don't really see the camera but can you see it's really really good looking i'm sorry my hand is shaking because i'm trying to hold it close to the camera but it looks really really interesting this will be my first experience with even weave fabric and especially with these types of um, designs which are not chimera they're not heaven and earth known designers they are not a kit they are just a uh, individual person who makes beautiful designs and the you know they sell it and they look beautiful there are artists that make prettier designs well in my taste some make less you know uh, something that I don't really like but every designer has their own fans so that's that's okay anyways okay let's move on to Saga I'm going to show you the piece that I'm going to make 
and I'm going to show you the little changes that I want to make in the numeration of the num of the threads. Okay, so this is my Saga chart. Now, um, they are standing one next to the other, but this is actually the design that I saw on Marina's channel, which she has finished, and that was so beautiful. And actually, I thought of stitching it too, because I really, really like the way it came out. But then I decided not to because I didn't want to repeat her. So I will just keep it for another, you know, project. Hopefully I will enjoy this one. And this is the one that I chose. So they do look really delicate, both of them. But again, I don't know how you call it in English. This chart is called uh, Bells. So these are kind of... A bell flower or something I don't really know anything about flowers so I may stupid may I may stupid I may sound stupid but that's all I can tell you anyways let's open this now this is um, I actually turned off the back stitch which I'm going to turn on uh, this is the piece that's supposed to come out. Let's see the preview. This is how it's supposed to look. Uh, the circle around looking kind of uh, bad <laughs> because you, I guess you're supposed to stitch it uh, by looking at it, you know, just just stitching around. So I think that I'm going to do a little pencil um, pre pre-stitching I guess so uh, my circle will look a little straighter but basically um, it looks a little weird on Saga I think but when you stitch it and it's finished it looks amazing you won't even believe how good it looks so that is the preview now if we open no I don't need the calendar that's already something that I'm used to Okay, so I've already done this, but uh, on Saga you can actually choose the size of the fabric that you are stitching on and that will give you the right size. So I've already done that. I'm using Mirana over two crosses, over two strands. And the size will be 101 over 104 crosses. And the size will be 16... Uh, over 16 and a half centimeters so the embroidery size um, that's you know really good because my uh, hoop is 19 and a half so that's perfect anyways how many colors do we have we have 29 colors they don't have a blend in this uh, little piece uh, I do know that some of the charts do have blends a lot of designer charts do have blends they do use it but this particular one doesn't have it so that's good that will be an easier stitch now what I'm going to do my organizer like I showed you there it is I want to write numbers I don't want to write DMC numbers the longer ones because I just want to save space plus I want to use it again in the next project after I finish this one so um, I'm going to do this this is actually something new it's a new option that I finally realized why it didn't work on my um, tablet because I didn't update my program and for some reason it didn't update by itself on my phone it did but here it didn't but they added this option where you can press this and you can choose if you want to use index numbers for your organizer or numbers from the original palette now the original palette means the DMC numbers and if I choose the index numbers look what happens they give me the number of the thread instead of the number of the DMC thread. Now, if I go out here and, oh, no, 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 no. Why did I do that? I went too far. <laughs> Anyways, if I do this and then I, where are they? Oh my gosh. I lost my um, thread numbers. Something is happening. Oh, right. The crosses. 
No. No. That's a really bad thing. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I just realized what I was doing wrong. I had the preview on, so all of my stuff are gone. Now there it is. <laughs> I, I What I did was I opened the preview and then all the you know variations over here are disappearing and then when I get it back to my chart it comes back so I got a little scared there but can you see it's number 25 now if I open my thread my threads over here it shows me the number of the thread look number 19 number 20 number 22 that's something that i can write on my organizer before i start a project not after that because that will make me um lose my you know my way all over the chart if i already started using with the dmc uh numbers but this is something that i can do from the beginning and then i just keep stitching by numbers not by numbers of DMC. So if I, for example, choose a number from here, I'll just close my pencil. If I choose like uh, this symbol, for example, you see, this is number 21. I can just highlight it and I can go on stitching it. So that's something that I'm going to do and I'm just going to write one, two, three, four, five on my organizer and cut my threads right after I finish my filming. <laughs> and I will update you on how much I have progressed a little bit later. Now, what I'm going to do is add a center. I'm actually going to close the back stitch over here so it won't bother me because I'm not going to stitch it for now. I have removed it and I'm going to open this and do this. This will give me the center of my work. Because this is a round piece, I am going to start from the middle. So I'm going to look for the middle on my canvas and then just start uh, filling in all the colors and going outwards. And that will be much easier than starting from some corner and then just losing my way. Because, you know, that way I will be able to just go with the flow with the kit. I cannot wait to start because I really want to start stitching on this fabric and I really, really want to see how it will end up looking. So yeah, so right after I say goodbye for now, I will um, start organizing my threads and then I will go on for the first crosses. So fish, <laughs> wish me luck. Um, anyways, I will come back and update you on the beginning of this project and um, updates will of course appear in, oh my gosh, the music. These are cars outside. I hope that you cannot hear them. It's so annoying. Anyways, I will update you on my beginning and then I will be updating you during my crafty weeks on the, you know, process itself. So I'll see you a little bit later. Wish me luck with the organization of the threads. Hey guys, so look what I have here. <laughs> I've actually started this already and I am so excited because I love it. Um, I had... I didn't leave much fabric around here. I did leave like a centimeter or something or a centimeter and a half, like one inch, I guess. But I think that the circle will not reach the end, so I will still have some place to go. I just didn't have enough fabric, I think. I was trying to cut it so that I will, but we'll see how it goes and I'm sure that um i'll still have some leftovers from the sides but anyways it's not about that i have already started stitching this and i've already stitched quite a few threads and look how amazing this is i mean i didn't think that this fabric will be like this i was imagining because i did see even weaves before and i know that it depends on the type of fabric that I choose I think I chose the right one for me because I like it with the holes and the threads are even 
but I have seen some even weaves with like a line that is really really thick and then one next to him that's really really thin and it's it looks really uneven and I didn't like the look of the fabric so this one looks perfect I think I do need to purchase a few more uh, meters I guess <laughs> well not meters but packages of this fabric or just a fabric by itself um, because I am planning on stitching all the designs hopefully I will be able to do that before the baby comes but I am planning on doing that and I really want them all to be stitched on the same fabric so my plan is to order some more I do have fabric for um, like four more projects but I think that I need some more and look how the threads are sitting I was thinking that maybe I will be able to see the canvas behind because I read that 30 uh, three count is equivalent to, to like 16 count but uh, I guess it's not maybe it's an 18 count because I love the way the uh, crosses are sitting so close to each other and you cannot see the uh, fabric behind I don't like the look when you see the fabric behind your crosses so I think that it looks really nice the only thing that I did um, already make a couple of mistakes that I needed to change it's that you need to count this is a project where you need to count your crosses because I don't have my guidelines and I don't really know how much I need to jump because there are more holes in one a uh, little square than I'm used to I mean one square I'm just going to get a little bit closely closer come on focus no don't it doesn't want to focus anyways one little cross is like two and two I mean this is a cross not one little pixel but two little pixels and four little pixels make a full cross so you need to count like twice every time you need to jump somewhere and i've already made a mistake like over here because i was supposed to jump a couple of uh, crosses and i've mistaken by one um, little you know square over here so I had to take out the thread and then I'll have to just go back to it and finish this color and I've made the same mistake over here where I had to jump and I did make a mistake and I jumped the wrong you know amount of uh, crosses so that's pretty difficult I mean maybe once I get used to this fabric I will stop making mistakes but I'm not sure about that because um, fabrics like these I think that it's pretty difficult to jump too far so I just need to like maybe stitch this color and then if I need to jump over here I'll just use a guide of other colors so if I didn't have like this I never would have jumped from here to here I would have just waited until I finished st stitching these little crosses and then join and finish this color over here so that's kind of something that I need to get used to um, I'm sure that I will make more mistakes but uh, for now that's fine I accept every mistake that I make um, I'm not really it's the first time for me stitching on a fabric like this and I love it okay so organizer this is what I've done uh, as you can see I have uh, written numbers I did change the numbers in my saga and I have written one two three four five six seven instead of the DMC colors now um, 
I did do another thing. I've made little braids like these. It's making it a lot more comfortable not to, you know, have your threads all over the place. And it's really neat. And it's easy to take the threads out of here. So it's really comfortable for me. I love these organizers now. I used to hate them. Like I said, I threw away like five of them trying to use them and not liking them. So I love them now and I thank you, thank you. They are not so expensive like Buckle. They cost like third of the price but they are amazing and I know that some other companies also make them now so you have not only Dupco company make them you have other companies that make colorful um, organizers like this one and you should try them they are really really good now let's move to Saga and see how much I've stitched so what have I done? I have moved this project from the bottom, from here, the bottom, to this place up here. So now I have all my project lined up on the top row. And look at this, I've already done 2.40% and I hardly even sat down. So I think this one will go pretty fast. Um, I think not slower than my Rioli's wool kit, which I also need to finish because I was planning on finishing it before starting a new project, but I am, you know, I could never wait to finish something, to start something new if I'm planning on starting it. So anyways, okay, <laughs> let's open this, open the pattern. Now I have stitched somewhere around here i actually turned i'm going to turn off the preview i turned on the back stitch because i was filming my russian version first so i'm going to take it off and this is what i have so look i'm just going to lock the pencil so i won't draw on it so look what i've done i've already stitched all the pink crosses over here which is great. These are French knots that apparently are also in this project. I never tried to do French knots. That will be the first for me. That will be interesting. I'm not even talking about the crazy amount of backstitch. And that's something that I'll need to deal with as well. So that's okay. <laughs> Anyways, let's see how much I have stitched. So uh 2.40% i've already told you now i have crossed 12 o'clock when i was stitching this so uh, on the 12th i stitched 97 and after 12 o'clock i stitched another 75 which i actually count them as one day because i it was just one sitting so it was like an hour or an hour and a half or something and altogether I've stitched in one sitting on the 12th slash 13th uh, 172 crosses which is not bad actually considering that I've made a couple of mistakes I had to take the thread out and then just start over and Anyways, I need to get used to this fabric, <laughs> but I love it. I love the colors. Look how bright and juicy they are. I've never stitched with greens like that and I am loving it. So I think that this project will be beautiful. Hopefully I will not, you know, reach the ends because I don't have a lot of spare, you know, around this so i think it will be something like this something around here so hopefully it will be beautiful and i'm sure that it will i'm sure that it will okay so uh i think that we need to finish this update review i don't know how to call it and i'm going to show you the progress with this uh project uh, during my uh, crafty weeks and hopefully it will progress pretty fast 
it will be very interesting to stitch and I am sure that I'm going to enjoy this one um, this will be one of my favorites and I really hope that after this one I'll be able to start uh, next in this series and I have this dream of having like a series of stitched designs that I can hang one next to the other and just make like a hall of fame I guess a, f a wall of fame for like a set of designs that are from the same subject so maybe that will be a good idea with these ones because they are all the same set and they are all uh, really beautiful and really colorful so that's my plan okay so that's the end for this video hopefully you enjoyed it uh, give me thumbs up subscribe uh, donate if you can for the development of my channel that's important <laughs> thank you so much for those who have already donated you are amazing I love you so much all of you who are watching these videos and hopefully you enjoy watching them as well I would love to hear what you would have liked me to stitch or uh, maybe talk about because I really really want to make more chit chat videos and hopefully I will still be able to do that when the baby comes because I have so many, so many fears about that. Um, but yeah, um, again, subscribe, press the bell below to be notified when my videos come out. If you really want to follow my um, stitching life <laughs> and hopefully our cross stitch projects will be moving so, so fast and we'll see results as fast as we can. So, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my crafty weeks. Bye-bye.